Hi, my name is John Diel and this is the second video clip I've produced that looks at multiplication method that uses the idea of a third number, a base number. Designed to help learners to multiply two digit numbers, two of them, uh, eventually in their head. It's called the base method of multiplication. Like most skills, practice is important, so the more the learners practice, the easier it will become for them. The first video that I recorded looked at multiplying numbers near 10 using a base of 10. This video will build on that and remind viewers of what was in the first video and then look at multiplying numbers near base 20, um, sorry, near 20 using base 20 and multiplying near num numbers near 30 using a base number of 30. Let's start by reminding ourselves of the method shown in the first clip and we'll start with this multiplication 17 times 13. Remember the two steps. First, both the numbers are reasonably close to 10, so we'll use 10 as our base number. So for this calculation, 17 times 13, we'll use base 10. 17 being 7 more than our base number 10, so plus 7, and 13, 3 more than our base number 10, so plus 3. The first step to um, finding our answer is to do a cross addition. Either add the 7 to the 13 or the 3 to the 17, which in both cases will give us 20. And as we're using base 10, this becomes 200. The second step, to multiply the two top numbers in red together. So we've got 7 times 3, which is 21. And we add that number to the one that we got from step 1. So we've got 200 plus 21, which is equal to 221. Um, so 17 times 13 is 221. Uh, if this is new to you, you may want to look at the first video clip, which looks at more base 10 examples. Remember you also that you can pause, rewind and watch the video clip as often as you like. That will help you get your head around the two steps involved when using the base method to multiply. If you're happy with what you've seen and want to press on, the next part of this clip is about base 20. Okay, so you're ready to look at multiplying numbers using base 20. This time we'll have 24 times 26. They're both pretty close to 20, so that's why we use 20 as our base number. Remember, this is about learning the method for doing these calculations. So for this calculations, 24 times 26, 24 is four more than our base number, so plus four, and 26 is six more than our base number 20, so plus six. The first step to getting our answer is either to add the four to the 26, which is 30, or the 6 to the 24, which will also give us 30. And it really doesn't matter which you choose, uh, the answer will be the same 30. The fact that we got the same number, I suppose, is a bit of a, a double check. If we are, were using base 10, we'd think of it as 300. But base 20, 20 is 2 times 10. So, as we're using base 20, we think of this as 300 times 2, which is 600. You may want to pause the video here and rewind to view again so that you can get the difference between base 10, which effectively is adding a 0 and multiplying by 1, and base 20, which is still adding a 0, but this time multiplying by 2. If you wish to carry on, then the second step, as with base 10, is to multiply the top two numbers together, the red ones in red. So we've got 4 times 6, which is 24, 
and we add that to the number that we got in step one. So 600 plus 24, which gives us 624. So 24 times 26 is 624. Again, you may want to pause the video and or watch this and or the first part a few more times to just get your head around the two steps involved when you're using base 20. Or you may be happy with what you see, I hope so, and want to press on to another example. Okay, so we're ready to look at another example. <clears throat> Excuse me. This time it's slightly different as you'll see and you may need to pause and or rewind to get your head around the differences. This time we're going to look at 18 times 27. They're both reasonably close to 20 so we're going to use 20 as our base number again. Uh, remember this is all about you learning the method for doing the calculations and like everything new as I've already said it may take a little time to get your head around this method but don't give up it will be worth it. So 18 times 27 we're going to use base 20. 8 this time is 2 less than our base number 20. This is the difference. So it's minus 2 because it's 2 less. And 27 is 7 more than our base number 20, so plus 7. The first step to getting our answer is to add the minus 2 to 27, which gives us 25. Or we could have added the 7 to the 18, which also gives 25. As I keep saying, it doesn't matter which way you do it, the answer will always be the same. In this example, 25. Remember, don't think of it as 25, it's actually 250, and because it's base 20, it's 250 times 2, which gives us 500. The second step is to multiply those two top numbers in red together. So we've got minus 2 times 7, 2 7s are 14, and a minus times a plus is a minus, so we end up with minus 14. It's that number as before that we add to the number we got from step one. So this becomes 500 minus 14, which gives us 486. So 18 times 27 is 486. Again, you may want to pause the video and watch this and or the first part a few more times to get your head around the steps involved when using base 20. I keep saying this, but most methods practice help and you may get to the stage where you can do it in your head and that will impress people. Okay, we're ready to look at another example and this time we're going to look at 33 times 37. These are pretty close to um, 30, so I'm going to use 30 as our base number this time. Remember, it's all about you learning the method um, for doing these types of calculations. And like everything new, it will take a bit of time to get your head around it. But don't give up. It will be worth it. So 33 times 37, we're going to use base 30. 33 is three times more than our base number 30, so plus 3. And uh, 37 is 7 more than our base number 30, so plus 7. The first step to getting our answer is to add the 3 to the 37, which gives us 40, or the 7 to the 33, which is also 40. Uh, it doesn't matter which one you do, as I've said many times already. So we end up with 40, but we think of it as 400. And because we're using base 30, it'll be 400 times 3. Remember, base 20, we multiply by 2. Base 10, effectively, we multiply by 1. Base 30, we multiply by 3. Which is 1,200 or 1,200. The second step is to multiply those two top numbers together, the two in red. So we've got 3 times 7 is 21, which in turn we add to the number we got from the first step. So 
we add it to the 1200 and we have 1200 plus 21 which is equal to 1221 so 33 times 37 is 1221 again you may want to pause the video and watch this and all the first parts a few more times to get your head around the two steps involved when using base multiplication I'm sure that you'll notice the multiplication in the first step depends on the base used. Here we use base 30 and multiply by 3. In the first video we use base 10 and in effect multiply by 1. And in the second it was base 30 so we multiply by 2. So if we use base 50 for multiplying let's say 53 times 56 because those numbers are near 50 we'd multiply by 5. Go on, try it out. Like most methods, practice helps, and you will, I'm sure, get to the stage where you can actually do it in your head and impress many people. Perhaps uh, a New Year's resolution or a, a plan to have it ready by Christmas and, and show off then. That's all from me, John Deere.